Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Okay, so the first thing actually, oh wait, did I say I'm looking at their impressions of you first, then I'll look at their feelings. Um, the first thing I'm seeing is it's almost like their first, in, how do I explain this? Okay, let's say as an example, the, the way you met this person is you opened the front door and they were standing there. Literally one second before you opened the front door, their focus and, and attention was on something that had just ended, a cycle they'd closed out. So it, they were quite self-focused, which kind of tells me that, you know, we might see that when they first met you, they were shocked, surprised, they weren't expecting um, to notice anybody in the way that they noticed you because they were quite self-focused at the time. Thinking as well about something that had just ended. King of Pentacles and we have death, absolutely. So for some of you, this person could have just transitioned in the work realm. Um, they could have been focusing on finances, home. Um, it could even have been a relationship that perhaps ended or was in the process of ending. Um, we have Scorpio energy here. Um, yeah, with the King of Pentacles, very focused on self, very focused on how they were manifesting in the world, how they were showing up. They could even have been thinking about how they looked maybe in that particular moment, perhaps you met this person at an event and they were just doing a final check of, you know, is my tie straight or is my dress, you know, not stuck into my tights or whatever, <laughs> I don't know. You know, just like doing a check, but focus on themselves, I think. Okay. <clears throat> so this person's first impression, please, of my viewer. Oh my goodness, and judgment, are you kidding? Okay, so for some of you, you're definitely a Scorpio or you have Scorpio and I would say one of your big three, Sun, Moon, Rising, or this person has a, a very prominent Scorpio um, placement. Now, if it's not that, we know Scorpio energy is about death, rebirth, it's about going deep, focus on the self, and you know, really looking at, at sort of how we've been showing up, patterns, things we're changing. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of self-focus. This could have been someone who went through something huge, the world, death, and judgment um, around the 3D. So as I said, a relationship that ended, job, finances, home, the kind of person they're showing up as. Okay, so the, I, li I literally think the second before they saw you, their thoughts were just in an entirely different place. We have the High Priestess, we've got some Pisces energy there. And it's interesting, if you have a look at the ship on the sea, it looks very stormy, so um, maybe internally feeling a bit stressed out, um, looking much calmer on the surface than they felt within, um, perhaps going through, it could be like a dark night of the soul even, but some really deep self-reflection again with that energy of Pluto coming through. So feeling more unsettled than they appeared. And it's interesting how she's coming out um, from behind a curtain. So for some of you, there could be in, uh, an aspect here around theatre or performance. Um, but again, that message I got of this person doing a final check, how do I look before I step through? Um, you know, it doesn't, have to, it doesn't have to be that they were literally going to be on stage, but if they were going to an event that you were at or you met at a party or a gathering, just checking, you know, do I, do I look okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay, I'm not, I'm just gonna put those back. I'm taking all of those. Okay, and we have, yes, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we've got Sagittarius energy there. Um, wow. The only card I feel is talking about how they, their first impression of you is this Wheel of Fortune, but it's it's a big deal. I'll get there in a minute. So we go from the King to the Knight. Yeah, this is someone who I feel part of this change, this transition they went through, they almost may have looked at it as a downgrade. Um, so when I said maybe transition in the work realm, perhaps they were fired or they got demoted or, you know, something disappointing happened. A relationship ended and they went from being, say, married or living with someone to being divorced or single or living alone and for this person at that time at least that may have felt like a downgrade especially if you know in their head they have these sort of markers of well if i move in with someone you know check if, if we get married check i'm moving ahead as you know 
an adult and I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to if they had a particularly say traditional outlook on things um but there was something here where they were yeah they weren't very happy again we've got this stormy sea but she looks very calm you know we'd never know but this person was was experiencing a, a change a transition that they weren't that thrilled with four of swords in reverse they hadn't yet got to this place of okay, I'm healed, I'm ready to go. They were still transitioning from that painful three of swords into the rest, the healing, the peace, and the clarity of the four of swords. So yeah, when they encountered you, it was like a shock to the system. Um, they didn't expect it. They weren't actually intending to try and connect with anyone in the way that they connected with you or for their attention to be um, taken by someone in the way that, that it was with you. Now the Wheel of Fortune, the first impression they got when they met you was, oh my goodness, my luck is looking up. Things are moving, things are changing. This feels like, finally, I've been going through a difficult time, I've encountered disappointment, and look, look what the universe, spirit, God, you know, or luck, whatever they call it, look what has been brought to me. Wow, amazing. And I'm noticing um, she's got on this red dress, which you know it's it's making me think of these red curtains here so there was some way in which upon a first glance or interaction with you this person recognized themselves in you and thought okay we're really getting along here we have this instantaneous connection and this could even be before any words were spoken they could have looked at you picked up on your energy or maybe it was how you were coming across in that moment and thought yeah okay i get you you get me i feel like there's something here um now, if this is a situation where you've not actually met in person, you're talking online, if they've seen a photograph of you or in your first, um, you know, chat interaction, there was something you said or a way you came across. It could even have been the tone, your sense of humour. I'm hearing sarcasm. So for some of you, you might have kind of like a sarcastic, witty sense of humour or something, uh, maybe quite dry or deadpan. And this person's like, wow, I'm... I'm, you know, I'm getting the joke you're making and maybe it's a sort of situation where most people wouldn't realise that you were being humorous. They would take you at face value. And But there's something here where this person thought, yes, I can really see a lot of me in you. And I just, I'm assuming it, it might go vice versa because I'm feeling something strong here. The other thing I'm looking at is she's holding this watch, like a pocket watch here in her hand. Um, and it's in, if we looking at her it's her right hand but if we were her it would be her left hand so that's sort of the receiving um hand so there's something where they looked at you and it really felt like you they were receiving this opportunity this connection they were receiving them this chance this moment to connect with you to be in your presence um and with it, with it being specifically this watch talking about time it's like finally it's about time and i don't just mean oh i've, I've recently been through something rough i think this person felt it's taken my whole life, you know, things I've been through, I'm looking at all of these cogs as well, I've I've had to take different turns in life, I've had to go through different things, and finally I'm meeting someone who at first sight, I'm almost, you know, I'm blown away by here, so this could be a situation, I mean, we'll look at their feelings in a minute, but a feeling of instant connection, this could be them saying, oh, now I finally understand what people mean by love at first sight, or, you know, whatever they were feeling at first sight um but yeah feeling like it really took a long time to feel this with anyone um doesn't matter what their age is but i i get the feeling by a long time they're saying this is the first time in my life that i've seen someone and felt this sense of connection um yeah and, and just really symbolizing a new beginning here um and their luck looking up and i think being excited wanting to connect with you i think they um their impression of you here was that you were very confident and you were more willing to be bold and directly engage with them they were almost being a bit coy but not because they were trying to play games because they were shy i think again this is someone who seems calm on the surface but they've got so much more going on within there's a lot more uncertainty than what they show on the surface here um there's also a feeling as well i don't know how they they picked this up um that that you too have been through a lot in life that you even may have had your heart broken at times whether we're talking in you know through family friends romantic situations but you sort of you 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 know you kept piecing it back together every time and it just made you stronger and stronger and stronger um 
look as well this woman here she's shielding part of her body with the cloth as if to say don't look at me straight on don't look at me fully so they could be self-conscious about how they look that keeps coming through a lot this person checking do i look okay do i look okay but also it's like i don't want to completely reveal the fullness of who i am instantly quite a guard is almost secretive person whereas you you know this is how they're seeing you you're like Vroom, <laughs> with your dress here is everything so i feel like they're saying you're so confident confident with who you are that you're like well this is me you either like it or you don't now you may be like well not really but that was their impression of you at least first impression here um you were comfortable with being seen so they may think you're incredibly attractive and that you know it so you're not self-conscious um yeah and, and just very comfortable with who you are um and everything that you have been through so maybe you wear your scars proudly whether we're talking emotional scars maybe you have some physical scars um What else? I think there was something else I wanted to say. Um, yes, okay, in terms of how do they know this, I don't know if there's someone watching where you met, maybe it was like, um, it could have been a, a group support for like grief counselling or something, or there was, there was something around you that made it obvious that you had both been through something tough, something challenging. You could even have met in a particular location like a hospital or something like that, you know? So that's their first impression of you. It's, oh, I'm, I'm you know, being quite um self-focused i'm just kind of stressed out i've been through a lot i'm being self-reflective i'm trying to put myself back out there and engage with the world and show that i'm fine even though i'm not and then bam they see you um and they're like who is that i need i need to get to know this person here and i know i've spoken a lot about this woman in her dress but you know you could be a woman could be a man doesn't matter it's really just who are you i want to get to know you more but feeling shy at the same time Okay, so let's have a look at their feelings here. Okay, Spirit, can you show us... For some of you, there's a connection with writing. I don't know if you met at, like, um, a creative writing group, course, situation, something online. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see. So this person's feelings, please. Their feelings for my viewer. Their initial feelings. Oh, look at that see amazing four of pentacles reversed um and this is how they were up until this point and remember i was saying you know hiding half of her body i don't want everyone to see me fully with you it's like okay let me open the cupboard and show you everything everything that's inside um and also feeling like you could see you understood without them needing to volunteer the information because again it's it's like okay we we are two sides of the same coin i don't know why they were so convinced of that but they were so a feeling of connection, a feeling of recognition, a feeling of wanting to be open and vulnerable with you, but, um, and, and kind of knowing it was going to happen anyway, that you could see them, see them clearly and feeling good about it, actually. It's interesting because a lot of it, a lot of what's coming through is how this person, um, was feeling within themselves in response to you so i do wonder if in this connection especially at the start you felt like you were the pursuer in some way or you were placed in a position of maybe the masculine energy pursuing and this person took more of like a feminine i'm going to just exist and react kind of um energy okay let's see wow three of swords Two of Swords in reverse. Now, before I forget, um, because I always forget, but with these ones, I, I know I get comments, so I've been reminded, the decks. The, the one I'm using now is the Housewives Tarot, and the first one I put down um, is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Okay, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, let me just pause here. If you, when you met this person, you were with somebody in, in another connection romantic situation and they knew it could be that it came up in conversation or they just knew or someone told them or you when you met this person you were with this other person your partner here an instant feeling they had was pain um three of swords two of swords reverse nine of nine of coins reverse it's almost like my god this person i've just connected with without even having to say anything this person i want to know to get to know who i want to know me who i feel like already sees me who I'm incredibly attracted to, 
they're with someone that's gutting just as I was feeling like yes things are turning in my favor I see that they're actually not even available and, and it's a feeling of cruelty yeah look five of cups oh my gosh and she's in this sort of like burgundy red dress but now look at it it's sort of it's wet um yeah also with all this red definitely passion um obviously the root chakra as well is connected here so this is someone their first impression of you was that this could really be something that's tangible and grounded it's not just something they want to remain in the realm of fantasy but i, I feel like their feelings very quickly turned to feelings of stress and pain and being a bit pessimistic see look eight of cups the devil in reverse capricorn there it's almost like a truth they didn't want to see and we've got the chariot cancer energy okay wow if you did meet them at an event and then you know you saw each other maybe you interacted they saw you were with someone it was like oh this this really hurts they may even have almost sort of pulled within emotionally that same evening and then you left and they were gutted but either way i feel like there was a truth they realized or saw that they didn't want to see the devil's reversed it's like i'm, I'm getting stuck on this truth now on this realization and i wish i wish that i didn't know or i wish i'd have had a bit more time to enjoy this connection i'm experiencing without knowing that now i can't do anything about it because i do think five of cups they fell quickly into this place of pessimism of okay well you're not single so there's nothing i can do oh well i just potentially found the love of my life but nothing can happen woe is me you know i'm not going to do anything um or if you know if it's not that you were with someone with this nine of pentacles reverse they could it could just be you were tied up in something else or they felt like you weren't in a position where you wanted to connect with someone or you were available to connect with them um but there's something here where they looked at you as being in a way off limits um it could even have been that you they didn't get enough time with you and they thought well i'm not going to be able to see you again or, or find out who you were um because you know eight of cups it's like well i've just found my two of cups connection but now i've got to walk away and that's really painful emotionally this is so fascinating this person had big big feelings for you you know um very quickly but it's almost like they tried to skim over them and they went straight from shock and awe into it's almost like they didn't get to intellectually figure out what are these amazing feelings i'm having they, because they just jumped over like imagine the love and, and excitement is under a bridge one side of the bridge we've got i've just been through something i'm focused on self on the other side of the bridge we've got this melancholy this sadness because for some reason they feel like they can't move things forward with you they didn't stop and engage with what was under the bridge all of that nice stuff they just crossed the bridge to well i've met you and now i'm sad because i can't see you again or i can't have you um now how i think this may have looked to you is i met this person we had a connection they pulled back i the connection hasn't been verbalized they've not said anything they're not even putting in any effort or pursuing me i feel like they're playing games um i'm not sure where i stand but i know we had a moment whereas in their, you know from their perspective it's we had a moment i felt shy yes i was more in my feminine energy which pushed you into your masculine energy but then i saw something whether it was accurate or a misinterpretation that made me think i couldn't do anything so yeah i did pull back but that my intention wasn't that you would have to pursue me or figure out you know what i was doing or think that i was playing games it was just that i felt i should pull back i should detach there's nothing i could do but actually spirit saying it was them giving up a bit too soon um so yeah for some of you maybe there was a misunderstanding maybe they saw you with someone but it was your cousin you know or your friend or something and they just jumped to a conclusion um okay whatever this was though this truth they really got stuck on it and i think it really affected how they behaved after this and a lot of what you maybe have seen from this person um over the, the course of this um connection however long or short it's been let's have a look two of swords reversed with the devil in reverse please you see the star reversed a lack of hope but 
the Starlight, we've got Aquarius here as well, but it's almost like they weren't seeing what Spirit is saying is the obvious, because these cups aren't even behind her, they're in front of her, the ones that are upright. Um, so they weren't seeing that there was an opportunity here. Especially, you know, if they felt that you were about a million times more attractive than they were and could, you know, sort of engage with or draw the attention of anyone in the room, whether it was a literal room or metaphorical room, they may have been like, well, that confirms it then. Not only is this person not available to me, there's no way out of all these people, if they were going to choose someone else, that it would be me. Um, so all of this self-doubt and sort of, um, you know, hopelessness and giving up too soon that was internalised and not spoken, maybe I think made this person seem selfish, unmotivated, confusing in their behaviour, like their energy was saying one thing, they were doing another, they were, you know, hot and cold with you. And I also think it was a, a form of self-protection because we know when this person first met you, they went through some massive life transition and it's almost like, no, 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 I do not have the capacity to go through that sort of an upheaval again if it's just going to end badly um so that's another reason i think they pulled back too soon or gave up too quickly okay so let me put this away we'll use the same decks and then we will see what is what is their impression of you now um and what are their feelings for you now okay Okay, so I just paused and as I did, it was 13.33 on the clock in case that's relevant for anybody. Also, um, I had a thought, if when they first met you, um, you were single and available, but they weren't for whatever reason, whether it was an existing connection, work situation, I feel whatever that third situation energy was on their side that was in the way of them moving things forward with you, that was something that was already rocky difficult something they were wanting to transition away from anyway um okay so let's have a look we'll start with impressions and then do feelings so <clears throat> their impressions of you now so spirit the person on my viewer's mind what is their impression of my viewer now please <clears throat> what's their impression of my viewer now whoa okay Oh my goodness, the tower. Seriously, more Scorpio energy. We have the lovers reversed, Gemini, and we have the five of pentacles in the reverse. Well, something could have happened here. Some kind of a big ending. Someone made perhaps a choice. So their impression of you might be that you have chosen to walk away and they do not like that with the five of pentacles in the reverse. But we'll see how this goes. See how she's holding on to um, this tower that is on fire. So if there has been an ending, even if they walked away from you, it's it's like they can't let this go, even if it's not good for them, even if it's painful, even if it's hurting them. <clears throat> yeah, the fall in reverse, Aries, Aquarius. Okay, so their they're in, um, impression of you right now and really of the situation is that it's in disconnect or it's fragmented or something has happened that they want to repair. This is not somebody who wants a new beginning without you. Um, with the full reverse and the way she's clinging on here, I feel in fact like this is someone who might even be holding themselves back actively in some way, um, stopping themselves making decisions in life or taking steps in maybe a different direction here. This could be someone, um, I don't know when this tower moment happened, but however long ago it was, they could still be stuck in that moment. Okay, what else please? <clears throat> this person's impression of my viewer. Look, we have the High Priestess again in the same position. What is the chance of that happening? So still, this is still someone who is shy around you. They still feel sort of um, like they're not as attractive as you or as confident as you. And this is someone who's actually saying, I think that could have been part of the downfall here. Remember everything I was saying about how this person was nervous, apprehensive, <clears throat> shy, all of that. Um, was in maybe more of a feminine energy of simply being, existing. Um, and perhaps to you it looked like they were being complacent or taking you for granted and, and not seizing the moment. Um, they're saying to themselves, okay, you know, I can see objectively from a distance now how my behaviour might have been interpreted. 
I can see how maybe I have contributed to the tower moment. Um, so they have been doing some introspection, but yet again, it's so interesting that I'm trying to ask what is their um, <clears throat> impression, opinion of you now, and it's coming back to them. So I will say, I'm not saying it's good or bad. I just think overall, this is someone who is quite self-focused. Their initial response in situations might be, how does this affect me? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put that out there and you can decide based on your particular experience whether that has manifested as being selfish and unempathetic or, you know, if it's just them maybe having a human moment before considering other people in the situation. I don't know. I don't know. It could definitely come across as selfish. I will say that. But it's very much... But it's not a bad thing. You know, they're being introspective and they're asking themselves, okay, how was I seen? How did I show up? It's not just oh, this makes me sad, you know, boo-hoo. It's, okay, what role have I played? So they are very introspective. We have the King of Wands. <clears throat> We've got Pisces, of course, again, with the High Priestess. Um, Page of Cups. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Oh my goodness. This person is still looking at you as the one for them. This person is not moving on. It's almost like they know at this point that the, the, it does feel like a cycle that they're stuck in. And look what's on the back, the hanged man. Wow. So more Pisces energy there. Um, it could be that right now they feel like this connection really exists in their mind, in their fantasies. They haven't got this interaction with you in the 3D. Um, and holding on to it in their mind, in their heart, it might be painful and they know it consciously, but they're like, you know what? Well, it's my choice and I'm gonna hold on to this because this person, you, you know, the viewer, you are my two of cups person. You know, we have this connection, the lovers. So at this point, their impression could be, we are soulmates or we are twin flames. Um, and they're looking back at when they first met you and they're saying, well, that makes sense. That's why I felt that instant connection, that instant knowing. Um, <clears throat> so we're not really looking at their intentions today, but their intentions are to not let this go and to hold on to hope. This person's hoping that you will reach out to them. They're still in this quite feminine dominated energy because they see you as being in an incredibly masculine energy, maybe in your life in general, with them, perhaps they have viewed you going after things, making things happen, but they see you as so, so confident. This person may even have overestimated your level of security within yourself or your confidence, or even didn't really consider that you, you, may, you know, you may feel that way about yourself, but you don't always want to have to be the person who's pursuing or the person who's, you know, super strong and blah, 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 that it might be nice to have some time off of being that way for example um but they really feel like you are someone that if you know you want something or want someone you will go for it and that's why they almost feel like okay well i'm just going to hope you reach out to me because i know that if you wanted to you would um now i i just feel that while this may be true you may have between meeting this person and now you may have been Focusing on yourself and making some changes, maybe balancing out your own masculine and feminine energy, looking at the connection, thinking about how you did show up, the changes you'd like to make. And I don't think it's that clear cut. I do not think that um, it's as simple as I want to talk to this person, so I will. I think there's more nuance here now, like perhaps you were the one that always initiated and now you're saying, right, I'm not doing that anymore. Um, maybe you're trying out a different kind of energy that that is maybe more i'm going to go with the flow trust in divine timing you know whatever comes up is meant to be i think there's more nuance here now than this person's realizing in terms of your approach to this situation so i feel like they've been waiting for a long time hoping to get this message they may have more of a a wait to go if they're just going to keep waiting it's almost like every time their phone goes they're looking at it is it you is it you and it's not it's never you um <clears throat> Yeah, so their impression of you, I mean, was it, was it, I think, I can't remember now, was it the Queen of Wands we had before? I'm not sure, but um, I remember she had that red dress on, it's very fiery. Um, we've got this King of Wands now, and you know, obviously he's got a drum, you sort of, you march to the beach for your own drum, you do, you know, you do what you're doing because it suits you. You couldn't care what any, you know, what anybody thinks. This person also, their impression of you is once you make a decision, it's a decision that is made. 
um, and you're not going to be persuaded otherwise because you've come to this decision through thought, reflection, knowing what's best for you. Um, and it would almost be humiliating for the person that tried to change your mind because, I don't know, maybe you'd, you'd whack them with that drumstick or something, but it's like no one would dare try and change your mind. And that's why they're sort of creeping around behind curtains, you know, looking at their phone, trying to see what you're up to and hoping you'll message them. So their impression of you, I think, is that you, it's like they see you now as being even more empowered and confident than they did before. But the, the thing is, whereas their first impression was like, wow, I want to get to know you. I want to be in that close circle with you. This person feels something has happened here that's pushed them outside and it's almost like now they're a bit afraid of all this fire, like they don't want to get burnt. Um, let me have a look at the tower. What has gone on here? This could also be someone who thinks you've decided you're better off without them. Again, their impression of you is, is kind of centred around how it's impacting them. So yeah, I don't know if this is someone who can be selfish um or if they're almost using this reading as a chance to sort of say this is how they're feeling knight of wands king of cups hmm okay so this was this is someone classic storyline we've all heard it before in the past they came off as a bit of a player like they were only interested in you for fun you didn't really know where you stood and look how this uh, person here this rider is jumping through this hoop of fire they there's all this fire energy coming from you. I mean, you could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or they just see you as confident, fiery, strong, passionate. But this person's playing with the fire. They're very confident. I can literally leap through it and I, I'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. So this person felt skillful in the past, that they had your attention. They knew how to maybe even manipulate it. So they could have been manipulative in the past. They just got too cocky. Um, because they thought you're the king of cups they knew that you had deep feelings for them that your feelings were grounded consistent you were perhaps patient with them you maybe even sheltered them from something or provided a feeling of safety um you looked out for them or something you may even literally have helped them with something however look at her hair it's um it's like she's got these tentacles and it's actually making me think of medusa so there is something that's changed now you know they're almost in fear um of what might happen if they try to talk to you or if they saw you that you would have the power to turn them to stone you know one cutting look from you would be devastating um for this person and the thing is medusa she became you know angry and and with the snakes on her head and everything because she was done a massive injustice i'm not going to go into it here but you know if you want to know then definitely look it up but she was she was that way you know with good reason so this person understands that the reason you might be in this energy if you are and if you're not it's kind of maybe what they're perceiving um is because they know they've done an injustice here to you they weren't treating you right in the past which is perhaps why they can't let this go because they're kicking themselves. It's not like it was out of their hands. They kind of time and time again did things to push you further and further into this energy of maybe cutting them off bit by bit by bit until now your back is turned and you're doing your own thing that doesn't involve them. Yet they're saying, you're my person, you're my two of cups. Now remember we had the eight of cups in the upright before? Um, it's reversed now <clears throat> because now they're saying I realize I gave up too soon I realize I thought I was making a practical decision in trying to pull my emotions away um, which made me look like a, a you know playboy play girl whatever um, but actually now I'm ready to honor my feelings and even if the, the situation around us is complicated well we could you know we could have figured it out together I walked away too soon so now this person is fully emotionally invested but they feel like you might not be even if you are, the impression they feel that you're giving them is, honestly, you're doing your own thing. Um, yeah, okay. Let's have a look at their feelings for you now. Um, side note, I also feel that they, um, their impression of you now is that you're very elegant. I don't know if they've had more opportunities to see you, to watch you, to see how you move, to see your body. Some of you, excuse me, could actually dance or something like that. Um, or, you know, I don't know what it's called, but um, when people go up on, it's not rope, it's like a fabric and they sort of wind it around themselves and then they, do you know what I mean? And they go up to the ceiling and then they unwind themselves 
in like an artistic way and come back down i don't know what that's called but somebody could do that um but yeah something about you maybe your hands your feet very um very elegant um it could, could just be your movement or something like that or they really like the shape of your body and i don't just mean you know oh you've got an hourglass figure or whatever sort of figure they like or you know you've got the broad shoulders and narrow waist or whatever i mean like um literally the, de the definition of your muscles on your arms or your legs or i'm hearing kneecaps i don't know if they like your kneecaps which i know sounds weird but it's not that weird because i remember i had a job years ago and someone was talking about how his friend obviously well don't mind how his friend felt that he could decide whether someone was going to be attractive or not based on how they, their knees looked um which i don't know whether you think i don't know if you think there's something in that or not but um goes to show people do notice the knees so maybe this person's you know something like that things that might not seem obvious they've zoomed in on and they're like wow i really like that about you i really like the way that shaped or the way that looks okay right so how does this person feel about you now oh my goodness queen of wands but look she doesn't look that happy does she it's almost like she's been sweeping up with this broom and now she's decided to sit down because she's remembered she's a queen and she's like will you do something you sweep the rest of the room so they do feel that you're definitely perhaps more in your power um you're not gonna sort of run around and chase them but we've also got the king and the queen of wands so it's like you are complete within yourself you don't feel that you need them temperance reversed um sagittarius oh my gosh this eight of cups is back ace of wands Page of Wands reverse. Wow, they feel that they are not on your level in any way whatsoever. The Chariot is back again. Cancer there. They feel like you've moved on without them, to be honest. And again, you know, some of you will be like, yes, I did. And others will be saying, no, I'm still, you know, I'm definitely still here. I'm still interested in this connection. Or I've even tried to pursue them and they've been unresponsive. Um... Oh look, the Wheel of Fortune again. Sagittarius. We've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Um, if when you met them, you were in another connection or there was something that was preventing you on your side from being with them, they might feel that because of, of their nonsense in the past, their immaturity and not taking this seriously, you doubled down in your pre-existing relationship or situation outside of this connection and that you're actually doing pretty well there okay five of swords reverse what's on the back look the fall is reversed again this is not someone who intends to move on without you or feels that they want to or maybe even that they can at this point and i do think they're even saying look the way i feel and the lack of movement that i'm seeing feels a bit destructive actually but it's my choice i keep hearing it's my choice you know if i want to stay here and feel this way i will if i want to hold on even if it's you know the towers falling and i might get crushed i will hold on it's my choice <laughs> okay calm down um okay so queen of wands page of wands reverse yeah they feel that you're out of reach right now they feel like they messed up page of wands is reverse they had an opportunity and they they got out too quickly um interesting phrasing got out it's almost like at the time they felt like they were they were escaping some kind of you know inevitable disaster and now they realize what happened is they you know they did themselves out of an opportunity i don't think that phrasing makes sense but um they shut this off too quickly we have temperance reversed and the chariot i do think they view you as having moved forward in some aspect of your life or having moved on from them they cannot heal they cannot find peace they cannot be okay with it we've got cards you know sorry we've got the words here joy justice anger and sorrow they can't balance these feelings out and i think it's because they're saying i did this and even if they don't feel that they pushed you away or something, it's like, well, I did have an opportunity and I did not take it. In fact, I turned away from it. How am I supposed to reconcile that? How am I supposed to be okay with that? Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles, Reverse. Yeah, they pulled away emotionally in the past. 
now they feel like you may have moved forward and pulled away um, emotionally from them that you're not available to them now um not just practically but emotionally again it's that it's that king of wands backs turn you're passionate you're fired up about something else and you're doing what suits you with that drum there i'm, I'm, I'm creating my own rhythm and i'm moving to it and that's it i'm not you know i'm not doing this beat for anybody else it's all about me then we have the ace of wands five of swords reversed they have moments when they step outside of themselves and their mind and all they want is a passionate new start with you so they may even have moments where they're like okay for, you know never mind i'm not going to listen to my doubts my fears i'm just going to do it i'm just going to send this message or i'm just going to go and pay, pay you a visit but you know obviously they don't but i think they keep having these moments of ah screw it i'm just going to do something and i think actually that is probably the divine inspiration because we can think of the ace of wands as that spark that life force that energy of like go initiate and wands you know masculine energy take the initiative that you haven't taken or that you haven't been taking enough um so they keep having these moments where their intuition peeks through and says go on do it go for it but then i think they you know they chicken out or something like that um so this person's impression of you i think it's just intensified the things they've picked up on or suspected at the start they've now had the chance to witness playing out so they've seen physical tangible proof of say your strength your courage your ability to manifest your kindness your warmth to other people um their feelings about you their feelings i think it's been a tumultuous ride for them they felt the feelings they didn't fully engage they backed off convinced themselves they didn't have feelings then they tried to make it just about passion then they lost you or pushed you away and then they realize okay it's a deep soul connection it's love and then there's the sadness and then there's the passion i want to reconnect so it's a whole thing it's a whole roller coaster a lot of what they're thinking and feeling as well is about themselves how did i show up how am i impacted what should i do about this i can't heal i can't move on i don't want to move on I feel quite annoyed um, with the whole it's my choice I don't know if someone around this person if they've ever spoken to people about this connection I don't know if their friend or friends or family or something have said you've not spoken you know in however long nothing's happening you need to move on and you know your person has been like don't tell me what to do I'm not moving on or because I feel kind of like like <laughs> <laughs> like do not tell me what to do i'm not moving on it's that sort of thing um and if no one said that if they haven't spoken about this it's just a feeling of maybe their logic is saying you need to release this and then they're like absolutely not i don't care if it's damaging me it's my choice um okay so that's how they feel now it's this pretty intense complicated um lots of admiration for you not really feeling good enough unfortunately here with the page of wands reversed kicking themselves longing for you wanting to take action not doing it you know it's a lot okay so i will leave this reading here but thank you for watching i hope there were some messages here for you um i have personal readings available the link is in the description box but otherwise take care have a good weekend and i will see you soon bye